Hey everyone, welcome back to That Japan Live with me, Jill. And this is Ryuma. Today we'll be talking about how to use your Japanese air conditioner. So most homes in Japan use the wall-mounted type of air conditioner, which means that for the most part, you will not be touching the unit itself, but we'll be using a remote control in Japan called Rimokon, such as this one, in order to control your unit. Today we'll be using the Panasonic remote control that I have at home and maybe it would look different from what you have at your home but I trust that um, this video would still help you out in trying to figure out what all those buttons are about and how to use your Japanese air conditioner. What I'm gonna do today is first I'm gonna discuss the buttons and then also I'm going to be giving you a guide on what would be appearing on the display panel that you have in your remote control. So let me start with the three buttons that you have at the top there. And these are actually the modes that your air conditioner has. So the first one here, and that says Rebo, and that is the cooler feature. So that is the feature, the mode that you want to use during the hot months, the summer months. Then the one that you have at the middle, I think not all air conditioner has this feature, but if yours does, so this one is Joshitsu, and this one is actually also used during the summer months, but especially during the Tsuyu or Bayu season, which is the rainy season in Japan. The rainy season in Japan is notorious for being very humid. And what Joshitsu mode does is, in addition to cooling the air, it also dehumidifies, dehumidifies, it also de humidifies it. So this would be a good feature to use during the very humid and hot rainy days of the beginning of the summer months in Japan. And lastly you have here the dumbbell. And that is your heater mode. So this is the mode that you want to use during the cold winter months, autumn, and spring as well. So pretty easy. Again those are your features or modes. And then next to that is you have this. This one is furyo, and what it means is the strength level of the air. So how much air is going to be released by the machine. And then in the middle, you have the very big button. And of course, this is ondo and that refers to the temperature. So pretty easy, you press the arrow down button to lower the temperature. <laughs> What's wrong? You press the arrow up button to make the temperature higher. And then beside that is you have another button that controls the air, but this time it's fuko, and this talks about the direction of the air, so the swing of the air. And then below, this one also I think is not a very common feature among um, air conditioners. And this one is Nioi Jokyo. So what it does is it kind of um, erases the bad smell that you have inside the room. So I don't know, maybe you've been cooking or a lot of Japanese homes allow you to hang your laundry inside the room and if the weather for that day is not really very good and your room starts smelling then this is also a good feature to use so it gets gets rid of the bad smell and by treating the air it gets rid of the bad smell by treating the air that you have at home like cycling it and then here you have power food and literally that translates to powerful and in other machines they say like high power and this still refers to the air that is coming out of your machine so powerful so that means like very high level and um, a lot of air and strongly the air is coming out of the machine and then this one here with the red outline that says she and that's what you press in order to turn off your machine. The other buttons that we have here, actually the three of them has to do with the timer feature. So this one says Kiri Taima and 
you press this button in order to set the timer as to when it should turn off. So it would allow you to set the machine to turn off after 1 to 12 hours. And then another one is Iri Timer, the one in the middle. And this one is also a timer, but it allows you to set the timer as to when the machine should turn on. Okay, so remember, Kitty is for when it turns off, and Iri is for right, when it turns on. And then here you have the Torikeshi button, which means cancel, and this is in order to cancel the settings for your timer. <coughs> oh. And those are the buttons that you have in your air conditioner. So now let's talk about the display panel that you have here. And so what happens when I turn on, so I'm just going to press any of the modes. Right now we're in the 2U season, so let me press the Jo Shitsu button. You can now start seeing some things on the display panel. So the one that you have at the top is the mode that is currently being used. So I press the Jo Shitsu button. And that is why on the top, you can also see Joshitsu. And then in the middle, the very big ones, obviously that's the temperature. So right now it's set to 24 degrees. It's Celsius. And then here, so at the bottom, and actually you can see the words. So there are actually labels here. So right now this box here is blank. And that's because that's supposed to show my timer settings, but I didn't set the timer, so right now it's blank. So let's give it a try, okay? Let's say I'm gonna press the kitty timer. Let's say I press it three times, and now so it has like three. And that means my machine is going to turn off after three hours. And also, as I've said before, so it could either be kitty timer or any timer. And in order to not confuse you, which of the two will also appear on the box? So here you have Kitty. Yes, we do. And then the one at the center is the Furio. So that's the strength level of the air. Let me show you how it appears if I try to change it, okay? So first actually you have like four levels which you can cycle through like this. But you also have this option, and this option means automatic, and that's Jido. And in addition to that, you also have this option, which means Shizuka, or silence. So you want the air coming out of the machine, but, you know, especially at night, it could be too loud and you don't want that. So you can choose this option, so the air will just be released from the machine quietly. And then here is... At the last part, you have the fuko, fuko, which is the swing of the air. So let me try to change that and show you. So it's actually a picture style as well, and it's very useful. So it shows you exactly where the swing is currently. And if I try to change it like that, so it goes from the top going down. But you also have the Jido option or the automatic option and it's up to you which would be most convenient for you. For the most part, um, for Furio and Fuko, I just use the Jido option so it, it suits me just fine. And that's it. Now you know how to use your Japanese air conditioner. Hopefully this video helped you out and uh, hopefully you were able to understand all of that despite all the interruptions and good luck using your Japanese air conditioner.